You're watching Budapest. It's all about living the high life in Hungary. Uncle Drew talking to you. And here we are talking to you from our kitchen. It's a dreary Budapest day. Time to make some comfort food here in Budapest. My wife, she's making a chirke paprikash. No? With not too much Chirke paprika. Chirke purkle, the chicken stew. Chirke paprikash without too much paprika. Chirke paprikash without too much paprika. Oh, is that right? Okay, yeah. here we go. The, you start with the onion, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got a, I'm uh, becoming cameraman now. Here she is. Okay, perform. There's the onion. It's in a big wok-like thing. Always start with a lot of onion, as I understand. Isn't that right? Okay, here we go. Here's some cut up paprika. There's our disgusting espresso pot. There she goes. She's performing. <laughs> Andrea Salter Leifheit. On the walk. For your walking pleasure. We're showing you this, especially for you Americans. See, we're cutting off the head. It even comes with the head. This is a Hazi Chirke. Um, it's a free-range bird. Um, costs about double uh, what... Uh, feel free, Andy, at any time to say anything you want. But don't cut your hand, please. Um, costs about double uh, what a chicken in hung Hungary costs. Ow! Ow! Don't cut my neck! Ow! 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 You see the... Uh, it comes with all the stuff inside of it, too. We got the neck, we got the feet. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the beak. Okay. Uh, beautiful bird. This cost about 2,000 forints uh, Hungarian, which is, uh, what? It's like under $10, no? The one thing that I've learned from you, I never really knew how to do a, a, a stew. So it could be this, this word, pörkölt. I'll uh, mm -hmm. put this in uh, text on uh, this video. Uh, but the, the olap, uh, the, 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 the sort of base for the whole thing. Oops. Oh, and you're putting... Oh, that's that extra red paprika mm -hmm. we had, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. The base uh, is, uh, is, is onion, right? So yeah. I never knew this for a long time. Yeah. Hmm? How many onions would you put uh, if you have... Uh, uh, well, if, if you would like to have a consistent uh, sauce to it, or juice, or I don't know how to say it, then, then the more onions you put, the more... Uh, um, thick the sauce will be. Right, right, right. Mm, so you don't have to thicken it. Uh-huh, excellent. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we're zooming in with a hand zoom. Uh, peppers and onions are cooking down. Andy's starting to put chicken parts inside. Hey, is that you? How did you do that? Oh, now, oh, you're, that's your soup thing over there. The yeah. uh, famous uh, Andrea Salter Lifeite uh, pressure cooker is happening over there. She's making the soup simultaneously. And uh, y you have a little uh, bit of a, a, a Transylvanian spin on things, isn't that right, my yeah. wife? Yeah. Um, I add um, peppers. Right, right. Green peppers. Right, right. And you use uh, uh, in uh, this and, and in um, like uh, stuffed cabbage, tilted kapusta, you use less paprika than. Yeah. Yeah. Than a, a yeah. Hungarian from Hungary would you use. You don't have to over um, season it with paprika because it will taste like paprika. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you want mm -hmm. to, to, to feel all the other tastes as well. You want to taste the chicken, you want to taste the onions, you want to taste everything. If you put too, too much uh, paprika, then it, it will taste like paprika. Right, right. You see that chicken's pretty succulent. It's got a lot of nice uh, fat on it, and uh, we're not taking the skin off or anything. We ain't, we ain't no Americans, nothing. So um, I'm I'm whitening the I'm whitening the meat, so the outer layer of of of, of meat. We would call that browning. Okay, so I I you know to keep the juice inside. Right, right. So you brown a little bit before you put in any liquid, as I, I understand. I not put any liquid just yet. I just I will season it first. Okay. Browning it. Salt. You'll love it. 
Um, okay, here's the pup can, again. Can is that Adesh or, or it's, cheap? It's Adesh, so I would put uh, the cheaper separately. This is the sweet paprika. Um, Hungarians, of course, have two brands of paprika, Adesh and what, Cipush? Yeah. So, um, sweet and uh, spicy. I, I'm usually the, uh, the Fokadma Nyomo in the family. Um, I'm usually pressing the, the garlic to, to uh, take the skin off. Um, there's a bit of a uh, uh, controversy in Hungary about Fokadma, no? What, uh, have you heard anything about that? I mean, what, what I'm talking about is um, if you go to the uh, piots, to the market, um, you'll typically see that uh, the Hungarians want to show, you know, you are buying Hungarian garlic um, as opposed to uh, Chinese garlic, which uh, there is a, a ton of now in Hungary. It's nothing to do with the Chinese. You just want to eat local. Right, not anti-Chinese, but... The footprint, you know, the footprint. Which but is, if it... it is, right, right, it but your carbon footprint. Um, yeah. But also, uh, uh, I have heard, I don't know if it's true, um, you know, when you have to uh, deliver the garlic uh, from such a, a long distance, just like anything, um, that uh, there... Some people think there is actually a preservative in the, the uh, Chinese um, uh that you buy. It does, it looks kind of like um, uh, garlic on steroids. It's always like <laughs> five times bigger. So, uh, oh yes, yeah, so, oh look at this. You see, I don't know if you can, if, if you can pick up um, just like, of course the chicken's not cooked yet, but um, hopefully you can see um, the uh, sort of beautiful juice that's coming out. It's a, it's a very happy chicken, even while it's yeah. being cooked. Yummy, yummy. We, uh, of course, um, you could serve chicken paprikash um, with what is called no kedli or... Uh, no kedli? You know? No, no kedli. <laughs> I've seen that what? written down like no. No kedli. C -A -D -D. No, no kedli. <laughs> L-Y. Um, <laughs> but or also uh, otherwise known as galushka. Um, but uh, what we do, because uh, we have a little Transylvanian spin on things, um, we actually serve this with puliska many times, which is delicious. God, you can eat and everything. Of, uh, puliska sour is cream. is polenta, basically. That sour uh, cream. And, yeah, sour cream. Of course, if you serve it with sour cream, then it actually becomes a paprikash. So that's the difference between purkult and paprikash, right? Yeah. You put in some sour cream. It becomes a paprikash. Uh, considering how lovely, delicious, and fatty this um, is, now she just put the liquid in. Um, considering how fatty it is, you, you probably don't need the sour cream, um, but uh, I guess it definitely takes you over the falls, takes it over the top. Um, uh, it is delicious. I love paprikash as well. But if you have an excellent um, uh, piece of meat to, to stew, um, like this chicken, uh, you probably wouldn't even miss the uh, sour cream that much. So it's about an hour later and my dear wife is about to serve our chirke purgo from the Hazi chirke. Can you do that for me, honey? Oh yes, I, I guess I can. I can do that. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, as we were talking about before, she's made some puliska, which is a uh, Polenta. A spicy Hungarian word for polenta. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like, honey? Okay. Um, I don't know. Well, what I you got? What's on offer? Okay, we have... Um, Whatever rest. bigger piece you got. <laughs> okay. Because I'm a hungry man. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. This is half there of, we go. of a breast. Oh, yeah. And then you will have a... Uh, oh, it's some... Oh, that's fine, no, yeah. Fashion. And some sauce. Whoa! Check that out. And now some, some juice. Juice. Some stew juice. Some juice. Now you'll see. Oh yeah, lovely. See the way that just surrounds the polenta like that. There you have it. It's your Transylvanian version of Chirke Pertgold with the Hazi Chirke. Thank you, my dear wife. Catch up with us next time, and don't forget to join our Facebook group, Budacast High Life in Hungary. Stay tuned. And you wait for us.